What's up, my brothers from another mother? Got a quick video today for you. Title is going to be Women Will Make Rules for Betas and Break Them for Alphas. It's a very simple tenet. Shouldn't take too long to make this one. Quite straightforward. And this is something that many guys have experienced. I've actually experienced both sides of the scale. I've experienced the making rules for someone that she deems as a beta, and I've experienced her breaking the rules for somebody that she deems alpha enough. Um, if you've traveled around enough and you've been to places like Las Vegas or Cancun or even Ibiza, um, you'll notice that there's a different set of rules on those trips for men and women. Um, more, more specifically, you know, if you use Vegas as an example, it's the reason why you hear people say, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. You know, it's it's almost like they're trying to rationalize their indiscriminate behavior um, and hope that those stories or those nat narratives stay where they had their fun, uh, but they never do. Well, you know, I think that women are probably better at uh, hiding their sexual past or their notch count than what men are. But anyway, um, the point that I want to make is it's like you've seen this and I've seen this personally, I've experienced different versions of this. And it's also the reason why men will often hear women say, you know, I don't do this normally, or this isn't really like me, but I'm, you know, I'm just going to break the rule for you tonight. <laughs> it's because she breaks rules for alphas or men that she deems alpha. It's also the same reason why when she's at the foam cannon party in Ibiza and she meets the cute Italian guy named Pablo, 25 minutes later, she's up in, up in his room getting it on because women will break rules for men that they deem alpha. They will also so conversely, on the opposite side of the scale, they'll manufacture rules for men that they deem beta. And again, I've been on both sides of the scale. So let me give you a very good example. Um, when a woman, and this could also be some version of a shit test, depending on how it's delivered. Actually, I'll use this example. So after I got divorced and I was kind of out there just doing some dating stuff, um, I was still mostly plugged into blue pill conditioning. So, you know, working with societal rules that didn't really serve me, but I kind of had some inkling of what was going on. And this girl shows up, she's not looking like her pictures. You know, women typically lie about the way that they look um, when they're using online dating. And she was like a point or two below um, her real value when I met her. Wasn't that interested, figured I might as well sit down and have a chat because she had some interesting things to say. So we're shooting the shit. And then she comes up with this um, line. She says something along the lines of, um, I'm, I don't sleep with guys until the eighth date or something like that, which I thought was bizarre. And again, you know, I was still plugged in this time. I hadn't, I hadn't gone through the unplugging phase. None of that had happened yet. And I challenged her on it. And what I said to her, I go, look, if you're gonna play this game where you're gonna set rules for guys um, and not let attraction happen organically, you're gonna end up with all kinds of problems after that. You're actually going to, I mean, the truth of the matter is, is when you try to negotiate desire, all you end up with is obligated cl compliance and resentment. Uh, so what she was trying to do was make a rule for a man that she thought was beta at the time. I was probably pretty beta too, if I'm being honest, but because I challenged her on it and I, and I pushed through that test, she kind of sat there for a second. She cocked her head sideways. She kind of looked at the cocktail waitress and she came back to me and she says, okay, let's go do it right now in the bathroom. Now that happened all in the scope of literally 20 to 30 seconds, that entire conversation. Um, women like to test guys and if they don't deem you or they don't categorize you immediately in one or the other, they're going to test you to see what your competency is and where they need to categorize you. That's why they call it these shit tests, or this is what it's commonly called anyway. So um, just understand that when you're out there, fellas, you know, um, I know there's some ladies on, that like to watch these videos and like to be a fly on the wall and try to gather intel, but you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You really can't do much about it. So remember guys, women will make rules for men that they deem beta. They will break rules for men that they deem alpha. Understand that? Leave a comment below. Let me know if I'm right, if I'm wrong. Uh, also, I've seen the stats too. Let's have a quick subs subscription base uh, break, if you will. A lot of people are watching these videos and you're not subscribed to the channel. Do me a favor, hit the subscription button and the notification bell if you like what you're watching. I generally put out two videos per week. Monday night is before the train wreck, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a live call-in show for people that want to try to avoid making a train wreck out of their lives. We can vet those scenarios. And throughout the week, I usually publish at least one other video, just regular content. So do me that small favor if you've enjoyed what you've been watching. Again, smash the like button, leave me a comment below, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.